Welcome to Quick Tips for Thinkorswim. I'm Connie Hill. Today's quick tip is creating custom columns on the trade tab. What we discuss is for educational and informational purposes only. Don't consider it a recommendation of any sort. Options carry a high level of risk and are not suitable for all investors. When you initially come into your Thinkorswim platform, I'm here on the trade tab and we're looking at the option chain. On the option chain, you're gonna have a couple of columns that will always stay fixed, which are the bid and the ask columns on both the put side and the call side. However, there are some other columns that we could change up and do something different with. What you'll do is select right here where it says last X to net change. Those are the two columns that are here that we can switch out. We could, if we wanted, go to volume and open interest and it would show us the volume and open interest in that spot. Or if you wanted to see all the Greeks, you could look at the Delta Gamma Theta Vega. Well, for our purposes, we might want to take from each column, maybe just one of the columns. And so we're going to create a custom one. Select on what your current listing is, whatever the columns are, which in my case is Delta Gamma Theta Vega. Come down to Customize Column Sets. And then we're going to get rid of these three, but we're going to keep Delta. To get rid of what we have here, you can either double click and it'll disappear. If it doesn't disappear, just highlight it and hit remove. Now, I do want to keep Delta as the very first column because that's something that's very helpful to use. I'm going to type up the name of the next column and you can see anything that has OPE in it came up here. We're going to choose open interest. Next, let's choose a probability. I'm going to type in probability, and then we're going to choose this one, which is probability OTM. Again, you can double click to move it to the column structure. If it, your double click isn't working, highlight and select add. Now, the last one that we're going to select here is called theoretical price. And I'm going to come down here and select it from the list and double click, send it on over. Now, if this is something that you're happy with and you like, you might want to give it a name and save it. Let's select Save As. And the default name that it will name it is basically what those columns are. Now, you can keep that, and that's actually my preference, or you can completely change the name. You could call it My Favorites or option best or whatever makes sense to you. I'm just going to leave the name here. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now that is one of the column structures that we can choose from. In addition to any of the pre-built ones, we can also come down here and choose this. So suppose we're looking at position intrinsic extrinsic. We could look at that one moment, come up, select on here, come down and grab our custom column that's our favorite. Now you are ready to go create your own custom columns.